Hello and welcome to ICSE Physics Tutorial. Today's topic is important points for examination. Before we start, I have a child ki which lines on atom, child kata. जिए खुद के लिए कर हम मजा तब क्या है जीने में जिए खुद के लिए कर हम मजा तब क्या है जीने में बहे औरों की खातिर जो है खुशबू उस पसीने में बहे औरों की खातिर जो है खुशबू उस पसीने में है जिनके बाजों में दम दरिया पार कर लेंगे है जिनके बाजों में दम दरिया पार कर लेंगे बहुत मुमकिन है डूबे वो जो बैठे हैं सफीने में बहुत मुमकिन है डूबे वो जो बैठे हैं सफीने में थैंक यू Today, I'm going to tell you some important points which you need to keep in your mind while writing exam. So let's see those points one by one. Point number one. Students should read the question carefully so as to answer what is asked. Point number two, reading time must be utilized to make oneself familiar with the given data. Point number three, avoid selective study of topics. Point number four, avoid changing the order of sequence of question and numbering system. Avoid changing the order of sequence of questions and numbering system. What does it mean? Changing the order of sequence of questions. Sometimes what happens, a child is doing question number one, A, B. C, he or she is not doing. Then question number two. Again A and C, B not doing. Then question number three. Then again question number one, C. Then after that again question number four. Then again question number two. So if you can stop it, it's better. So this point says that avoid changing the order of sequence of question and numbering system. What is numbering system? In the question paper, the numbering is in English numeral one. And some students write like this one in, in, in Roman. Please don't do that. Cross. Don't do this. Follow what is given the numbering system in the question paper. Alright? <clears throat> Fine. Now, the next point, point number five. Handwriting should be neat and legible. I mean, you write in, in such a way that we could read it easily. All right, the font size should not be very small. I mean, it should be legible. Point number six, write answers to the point. Instead of beating about the bush, it's better to write down to the point answer. Read the question carefully and then answer accordingly. Point number seven, in numerical questions, write the given data first and convert in the same units. I mean, all the uh, uh, quantities should be in the same units before substituting in the, in the correct formula. So all the quantities should be in the same units. So like 
uh, out of three quantities, two are in the SI system and one is in the CGS system. All should be in the same system of units. Before you substitute in the, in the correct formula. Point number eight. Learn the principles, laws and definitions accurately. Do not make your own definition. Because there are some important points, key points. If you miss those key points, the definition or the principle or the law will be wrong. It will give the wrong meaning. So please learn them, the principles, laws, and definitions, and write them accurately. Point number nine. Use standard symbols. You cannot use your own symbol. For example, uh, capital F in light chapter, capital F used to, to represent the focus. Focus. So in place of capital F, we should not write down, you should not write down a small f. You know why? Because small f is the focal length. Uh, of the, if we talk about the spherical mirror or concave or convex mirror, uh, suppose concave mirror, so a small f is the focal length of the concave mirror and capital F is the point. Well, let's say in place of capital F, you should not write on a small f. So use standard symbols. Okay, point number 10. While writing the points of difference between two physical quantities, give important points. For example, uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, one point you can give uh, the definition of the two physical quantities. What's the difference between the two? And you can write down the second point, you can write down the, the, the SI units. And if you need one or two more points, then you can, accordingly you can write down. So write important points. All right. Point number 11. The accuracy of answers is important. Point number 12. Express the answers only in SI units, unless otherwise asked. Point number 13. Answers should be in decimal. Please listen. Answers should be in decimal with correct unit. Please do write unit. Sometimes you forget units. Uh, write down units. Point number 14. It is advisable to stick to simple examples rather than uncommon examples. If you have to give some examples, so please give simple examples. Uh, not uh, not very uh, uncommon uh, and then there is a debate no this is also right that is also right uh, you can write down you may write down but if there are some simple examples so better you give uh, uh, simple examples uh, rather than giving uncommon examples point number 15 it is better to inculcate the habit of underlining the important points or the key words in the answer. In an answer, there are some important points or the key words you, which you also want that the examiner should say it because, because it's very important. So that you can underline to in order to draw the attention of the examiner. All right, or this is the important point, this is the important clause, sentence, all right, phrase. Uh, so, uh, it is better to inculcate the habit of underlining the uh, important points or the keywords in the answer. Point number 16. No shortcut answers. Write complete answer. For example, if you have to write down and you are answering one question and there one factor you are writing, uh, the nature of solid. So, do not write down only nature. Generally this happens, you put the heading and then one, this, second, this, third, nature. No, write down nature of solid, the complete answer. Alright? So, 
one more thing I can say on the on the board. I have written uh, one formula here. Small f is equal to capital R upon two. This is from light. Small f is focal length. R is the radius of curvature, and this is the relation. Yeah. So if you are doing any, uh, if you are writing any formula, please write down the uh, meaning of the symbols used. And secondly, if you are doing any numerical question, so please first of all write down the formula, the correct formula, and then show the substitution. Please do write down first formula. Now, for example, R is given in the radius of curvature, R, and, and uh, uh, better you use capital R because in the NCERT book also, I always use capital R. You know, uh, last time uh, uh, when a student uh, told me, sir. Uh, in the book it is given a small r. I said no, better use capital R because even in the, uh, we have been using capital R and uh, in the NCRT book also they are using capital R for the radius of curvature. Alright, so better use capital R. Uh, f is equal to capital R upon 2. F is equal to capital R upon 2 where F is the focal length of the concave or convex mirror, the spherical mirror and R is the radius of curvature. Alright, so these, these are the few important points which you should keep in mind while writing down the examination. Okay then, thank you so much. Thanks.